The other day I was on Facebook and I saw a post that Mr. Lucario had, which there was inside the post a meme. And this guy was talking to other black men who called brothers who sleep with women but won't do anything for them despicable. He said, no, I'm not saying that you need to give her $100,000 or buy her a new car. But if you screw in a chick and you sleeping with her and she gets an emergency and she needs you to help her do something and you can't do it, you're despicable. A lot of guys called him a simp. Called him simp logic. She's getting sex. I'm getting sex. There's no, there is a fair exchange going on here. And so then I wanted to weigh in on it without cursing. Because you, you guys know how I can be. I could be a little bit um, vulgar with my language. I'm going to just start off by saying this. Good black men are above pump and dump. All right? Good black men are above pump and dump. A lot of you brothers out there feel that Pump and dumping chicks, pump and dumping single mothers, pump and dumping any chick who will give you the coochie for the free. That's fine. Especially those of you who want to do it in the black community. That's cool. Now, you won't take that over there to the, you know, predominantly white, rich, elite areas. You won't take that over there to Chinatown. You won't take that over there to the Hispanic community. But you want to do your pump and dump and stuff over in the black community, okay? And these ladies, I'm going to get on y'all, who select these Negroes who can't do nothing for you, and you let them pump and dump you, and then y'all end up with all these dysfunctional things and these babies come out of you, you want to be mad at those brothers. And then a lot of you brothers, at the same time, are mad at Pookie and Ray Ray because he gets to pump and dump. But according to some of the messages I've been reading on that post, a lot of you Negroes want to pump and dump. You want to do the same thing that he's doing. And I know that's true because you go over to the Dominican Republic and you go over to Brazil and Thailand and you pump and dump. Let me tell you brothers something. And I want to, to be honest with yourself. A lot of you brothers who want to have a serious discussion. Do you know nobody wants to live next to a pump and dump nigga? Pump and dump niggas do not have nice communities. They don't have nice homes. Their kids and their family tear up shit. They leave trash everywhere. They play loud ass music. They're despicable people. And their cultures are struggle. Struggle cultures. That's what pumping up niggas do. I know, I know, I know that because I live next to y'all. Okay, those of you who are pumping up, I, I know what y'all can do. Y'all don't do nothing. I'm sorry. And I'm going to give you guys some harsh realities here. I want to live amongst people, black people, who take care of their women. Who, for the ones that they're sleeping with, they're going to take care of. Because whenever I decide to have kids, I know my kids are going to be in a safe neighborhood. I know the grass is going to be cut. I know there ain't going to be cars all out in the grass making the grass all brown and shit. I know that those brothers who take care of their women that they are messing with and are accountable for their women, those neighborhoods are much better. I can send my kids to those schools. I, I, we can have nice stuff. We can have nice get-togethers without Pookie and Ray Ray and them showing up. I know that. But see, pumping up niggas are the guys who want to become pumping up niggas. I don't want to, I don't want, don't, don't want to live nowhere near you. No, never. Because pump and dump brothers are a contributing factor to black community struggle mania. We don't need more pump and dump sisters and more pump and dump brothers. We know what that leads to. And see, when you get a sister that come out with a badass attitude, you call in to pay your bill. Hello, this is Shaquanda. You be like, damn, she got a badass attitude. 
damn, she's rude. Oh, that's because she's dealing with one of you pump and dump niggas. That's what it is. That little funky attitude that you get when you a good brother and you go and you go out there and, and, and you try to talk to some chick and she give you a badass attitude because the pump and dump dudes have messed it up. The charismatic pump and dump niggas, they're the ones out there messing up shit. The pump and dump niggas and pookies and rubber, y'all say, no, 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 no. Pump and dump niggas can be anybody. Lawyers, doctors, engineers. Usually they are not, but they can be that. And let me tell you, there's good black men are above that. Let me tell you something, brother. If a woman is not worth, if she needs $50 from you, and you don't want to give it to her because you're just screwing her. If she's not worth $50, you don't need to be screwing her. Because you have allowed at that time somebody to enter into your space that's not worth $50 damn dollars. You have let this person know where you live. They have your phone number. You have went out on dates with them. You have spent time getting to know them, which if your time is money and you make $25 an hour, you have already spent more than the 50 just to get to know her, just to go out with her. Because the time that you have spent dealing with her, you could have been doing something else, making some damn money. So you already spent money on her, whether you like it or not. And if you are screwing her, that's your chick. And see, in 2020, Y'all niggas in the black community, you Negroes, y'all need to come claim your broads. All these disgruntled chicks out here and these, these, these chicks out here dealing with you and you dealing with these disgruntled chicks because both y'all on some BS. Go get your chicks and take your ass off. Seriously, because I'm coming back to America in 2020. I, I, I'm not going to be dealing with y'all. Take your struggle mania chicks and they badass attitudes, and all of the pump and dump, you Negroes go way somewhere over there. Go, take them. Because nobody wants to be living with, no, nobody wants to live by y'all. Trust me. People tearing up shit, talking loud, your kids as bad as hell, nobody wants to deal with you. Pump and dump Negroes, take your dude side chicks, all of them, and let them move in with you. So don't nobody got to go through their bad little attitudes, y'all little mood swings, y'all little dysfunctional stuff, your little mental breakdowns, and all of the little culture that y'all be tearing up in black America, and, and innocent people got to pay for it because of your pumping dump ass. Take them on, and both of y'all, both women and men do this. Y'all both pumping it up. Take your pumping dump ass on. Because y'all are terrorizing the race. You are race terrorists. It is domestic black terrorism. Because nothing good comes out of your little pump and dump strategies in the black community. Or you can do something else. You can go over to the other communities and do it. Go over to the other countries. Go do your pump and dumping over there. And leave your mess over there. And then come back home. Either or. Because pump and dump Negroes don't do nothing. I'm sorry they don't. I live in a nice gated community right here. Okay, and you know who lives in my gated community? Not no pumping up niggas. Businessmen, people with their families and stuff. The nice sandboxes out there. You got to press several codes to get into my building. You can't just walk up in here. No, you can't. Mm -mm. No, you have to press several codes to get up in here. It's nice. It's clean. It's luxurious. I love it. I'm only paying about six twenty five a month too. Hello, and the good brothers out there in Black America who are out there taking care of their jobs and the women that they messing with. Them women is not out there doing all the ratchet ass stuff that you dudes are doing on pump and dump. Got your girls all on X videos, all on porn, about all, all these little dirty sites. You guys are uploading the videos to doing all these things too. And you sitting this mentally disturbed chick and these mentally disturbed Negroes back in the black community. Take y'all asses on. Get up out of here, man. For real. If you want to pump and dump, get out of society, man. Go over there. Because we've been dealing with them, with you pump and dumps for the last 40 years in the black community. 
And there's just that mindset of the pump and dump mentality. The pump and dump mentality Negro is the same nigga that wants the hookup. He's the same nigga. Man, why I can't get it for half off? Why I can't do this? Why I can't do that? Man, you know, I don't know what. He's that same dude. That mentality, the nigga is a cheap nigga. He's the same guy. Everywhere you go. So take your little side thoughts that you have and do something else. Because good brothers are not even going to allow somebody in their space who not even worth it. Do you guys even have any value of yourself as a man? Come on, bro. Let's be honest. If you are a man and you are worth something, could a low value chick who's just worth a pump and dump, could she even get to you? She can't even get to you. You're not even in the same league. You will walk past her like Malcolm X did in the movie Price and Prostitutes. Hey, baby, don't need... go over there. I'm an ugly dude and I will do that. Be gone. And you black men should be at a level where you are above that. And it breaks my heart to know that a lot of y'all are still looking to pump and dump Tatiana. What if all the, what's all of these business shows we've been doing? What's all of this blackmail networking? You brothers got to raise the standards of women to even get to you. You got to make them work to get your attention. If you give them your, your phallus and they can get it that easy from you because they look good. You, you honestly not worth nothing. You don't let these women know you that way and ain't put in no work. If you a high value, man, you don't even pump and dump nobody. Even if she begging you to do it, if she's not worth it, send her on her way. That's somebody else's problem. No, baby, you're not. I'm not even going to give you my address. I'm not going to meet up with you. You can say that. But see, I can tell you the guys who can't say that, those are guys who were dusty, not getting on. See, when you got options, you can say that. But when you dusty and thirsty, you can't say that. I'm going to bust you out. And in 2020, come get your chicks. You sleeping? Them? No, so I'm just messing with her. She not mine. Yes, no, that's yours. Go get her. If she needs money, I'm sending her to you. That's your chick. That's you, bro. Go get her. You messing with her? You gonna take care of her? Cause a ain't nobody else gonna be dealing with your with your with your with your BS. And that's what it is. Black men in America always going to clean up the mess for you other Negroes all the time. Because you want to go around and, 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 and destroy stuff. You don't even care about the other brothers you impacting by your pumping and dumping. The communities you destroying by your pumping and dumping. The dysfunctional females that y'all are already, yeah, they're already, you know, messed up. And you're going to add to that by letting her on to another brother. You don't even care about that. And that's why your community look like it do. Like trash. No unity. No honor. Because Negroes don't have no honor. Negroettes don't have no honor. Dustiness everywhere. But in 2020, it's going to stop. Because if I'm going to bust y'all all out, come get your chicks. Take them over there with you to struggle land. Go ahead. No, no. Take her over there. Get your struggle chicks. Get your kids. And get the hell on out of here. And before I die, I want to help build a black community somewhere in the South. And if you come up in there, I'm going I'm to I'm get you evicted. Please, please come up in there. No, 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 no. Get the stepping. I'm going to do you just like this. Come on, uh, player, 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 player. Come here, come here. Yeah, I know you just bought this house, though, but we're going to buy it back. Come on, get on up out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Take you and all your struggle, Keisha, and all of these people. Come on, over there. Felonisha over there. So guys, what do you think, man? Be better than that, brothers. You guys are better than that, okay? Seriously, I I'm really disappointed in some of y'all. Some of y'all are better than that. You work too hard to get to where you have to be talking like that. Stop playing with yourself, okay? You guys are better than that. It's, 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 it's disgusting. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. All my contact information is the first comment. Peace out.